Bible says a man that finds a wife, come on, finds a good thing and obtains favor from God and man. Hallelujah. Hey man, give my sons a hand, man. I mean, come on, man. Hallelujah. We got Brother C.T. Mayfield. He looks so beautiful, don't you agree? <laughs> hey man. Hallelujah. joyous occasion. We love marriage. Marriage is awesome. God ordains marriage. Hallelujah. Marriage is God's best. It ain't nothing better than that. It's his best. Amen. God is the author of love. The Bible teaches that God is love and that love comes from God. From the beginning to the end, the Bible is a love story. And there we read of God's love for his people, of the love that sent Christ to the cross, of the redeeming love for the sinner, of the abiding love for the redeemed. We read also of the love of, of a man and woman, of Jacob's love for Rachel, of Mary pledged to Joseph. In the beginning, when the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, he placed in him, him in the Garden of Eden, and Adam was lonely. So the Lord God made a companion and helper for him, and when Adam saw Eve, he was no longer lonely. Amen. God can lead us to our life's companion. Abraham prayed that God would find a wife for his son Isaac, and God answered that prayer. When Abraham's servant found Rebekah, the servant bowed and worshipped, praising God. Then he brought her to his master's son. The scripture says, Isaac loved her and he was comforted. God has guided this couple here to this moment and has blessed their love and brought them together. Let us go to him in prayer. Bow your heads. Oh God, you have made us male and female and given us desire to leave father and mother and be united to the one we love. We thank you for the love we see here today. We believe that you have led them to this day, and we ask your blessings as they exchange their vows and seal their promises. As they become husband and wife, may they do so not only in our presence, but in yours, with your grace surrounding them and your, lo and your love within their hearts. We pray through Christ. Amen. C.T. Mayfield, do you now leave your father and mother to establish your home with Jackie as her husband, to receive her as your wife, to make a home where she will be loved and cared for as long as God grants her life? If so, answer, I do. 
Jackie Painter. Okay. Do you now leave your father and mother to establish your home with Cite as his wife to receive him as your husband to make a home where he will be loved and cared for for as long as God grants him life? If so, answer, I do. Who gives this woman to marry this man? son all right the ceremony of marriage which you have come to be united is the first and oldest ceremony in all the world celebrated in the beginning in the presence of God himself marriage is a gift of God given to comfort the sorrows of life and magnify its joys marriage is the clasping of hands the blending of hearts the union of two lives as one your marriage must stand not by the authority of the state nor by the seal on your wedding certificate but by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in each other and in God. You can have this kind of home if you continue to recognize God as the source of romance and love and affection, for these are his gifts. Build your home on a spiritual foundation. With God, you will have everything, and without him, you will have nothing. Now, Cite, I want you to repeat this after me. I, Cite, take you, Jackie, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until we are separated by death. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. That's a vow. That's powerful. That's not no words. That's real. Amen. Jackie, will you repeat this to Cite? I, Jackie, take you, Cite, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are separated by death. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. Amen. Amen. Okay. Join hands. Join hands. Cite, do you take Jackie to be your wife? to live and to love together in the sight of God so long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. Jackie, do you take C.T. to be your husband to live and love together in the sight of God so long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. May I have the rings? Though these rings are small in size, they are major in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us that love is not cheap nor common. Indeed, love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuous. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you are making today. See, table, take a ring place it on her third finger of her left hand and repeat after me with this ring I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband as God is my witness Jackie will you take this ring put it on Cite's third um, ring finger <laughs> the ring finger <laughs> say uh, with this ring I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife as God is my witness Jackie 
this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. There are marriages that uh, last a lifetime. And by the grace of God, ours will be one. Uh, I vow to grow in love with you, to grow deeper. The love that, the kind of marriage that God creates, the kind of marriages that he ordains, and the kind of marriages that he has created for men and women to walk in. That's the kind of marriage I'll seek for. Uh, no one can take your place. You're the only you that God made. Uh, there's no other woman like you. No one has your fingerprint. When God made you, he only made one. And I vow to love you forever. And one day, my greatest vow is that we are all as a family go to the throne of God together. I love you. I've always asked God to show me a way to get in here. And he showed me you. And I love you. I vow to love you forever. I love the man you are. I love the provider you are. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate the way you treat my girls. You love them as your own. And I couldn't ask for more of a man than what he said me. He said me. Oh, y'all gonna have to come on bed net. Y'all got me up for seeing tears myself. I'm married, but I felt that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, let's go to God in prayer. Y'all turn. Our Father, the source of love and life, these, these your children come today asking your blessing upon their marriage. May theirs be a home of faith and trust like that of Abraham and Sarah. May their love be one that endures like Isaac and Rebecca. May their love, may their lives be given in the service of Christ like those of Aquila and Priscilla. May joy and gladness flow from them into the hearts of many others. Guide them in the way of wisdom. Lead them along the path of righteousness. May your grace be theirs in every joy and sorrow. Oh, Father, may this home be an example of the love of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. You have come before us today and before God, and you have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands, having made promises of faith and devotion each to the other, and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Father, I thank you for this couple. I thank you for the power of God that's even flowing in this couple's life. What you have joined together, let no man put asunder. And everybody that agrees with that says amen. amen. You may now kiss the bride.
Amen. Amen. That's all right. Let's turn to the y'all join hands. Little man want to get in there somewhere. Grab the hand, little man. You in there. You ain't you ain't left out. You in there. All right. Um the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Dear friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. C.T. Mayfield. Come on, get a Lord some praise. Amen. Y'all. Oh, come on, y'all. I felt something on that. That's how you want somebody to honor you like that. Hallelujah. We have, downstairs we have, uh, we have a whole lot of food left. Uh, plenty of refreshments, cake. Please stop and get some cake. Say something to the happy couple. Uh, tuck something in an envelope or something or put something in their hand you know, to make sure they start their new life together with a bang. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah.